in the boardroom with the, our visitors who are the CS and the PS plus the director mining. And through our deliberations, I want to assure the listeners and also the viewers plus our members of public that the long-awaited report that we've been waiting from the CS has been availed to us through the deliberations we've had. And one action point that uh, we have arrived at and agreed upon is the holding of the mining licenses to the seven sites that the public and the leadership had contention on. And secondly, that the picking up of our Sebit site, our new investor, and it is indeed a coincidence, like when we were in the meeting, we were getting news that the new investor, the agreement between Semtech and the new investor are at high gear. We are going to receive the new investor who will propel the process of Sebit cement factory, which will make our county an industrial hub and will also help the president or work towards the Big Four agenda, whereby you see in the screen are all our members from the county assembly and also with the apology from His Excellency, the governor who was engaged in other meetings concerning the disaster of hunger that we are experiencing as a country and as a county. So on behalf of the county assembly and the entire leadership of the county, I want to report to the public that the agreements are up to date and we've seen the documents. And way forward, we are going to have our investor conference that shall be happening soon. You will get information and that is the time we are going to get more details. Key point that we note is the public participation concept and aspect that is enshrined in our constitution. So personally, I want to appreciate the CS for making time plus his entourage for coming and help us uh, dismiss and dispel the lies that have been being propelled, that the, our land has been sold or those other things have been happening. So our land is safe, as you've heard from his horse mouth, and our deposits are going to be prospected or mining is going to happen after all statutory procedures will have been followed and adhered to. So it is indeed a great day for West Pocot County and also the nation as at large. And we also take this activity, especially the mining activity, to be our flagship project, including other issues, including the petroleum in our neighborhood county. We have also promised cooperation and we are going to work together with the, everything that is within us because that is our mandate, is our delegated duty. For this press conference, uh, I have uh, made a visit with the PS Mining and the Director of uh, uh, Mining to the county of West Pocot. Here with me is the county officials, the executive and the assembly. Represented here, led by the speaker, uh, president of uh, the West Pocot uh, County Assembly, and CECs with other leaders. We have come to discuss the potential we have in the mining sector. West Pocot is a rich county as far as minerals are concerned. The minerals occurrence in this county is not comparable to any in a county. We have so many minerals here being led by the, the lime, limestone. We have gold, we have copper, we have zinc, we have so many other minerals. Today we have come to discuss how to enhance that potential and to contribute as a county in the Big Four agenda. As we wait to see how Kenya develops the manufacturing sector, West Pocot is going to be a big player in the contribution of that sector. We'll very soon be seeing cement factories in this county. We have dealt with uh, an old uh, company, Semtech, which has now been uh, bought by a giant company, 
Simba Cement Limited. We have had issues here with the, with the licensing. We have had the fear of the public that the, the 99 year lease that was given to the Semtec company meant land belonging to West Pocot going to one company. I want to state as follows today that I have halted all the licenses that have been in process until participation, public participation and consultation is fully done in this county. We want to ensure all the leaders are on board. We want to encourage the new company that is now coming on board to engage with the leaders of West Pocot. We want the people to understand that this is a process within the African mining vision of the investor, government, and the people themselves working together. Nataka kushukuru hawa viongozi wa county ya West Pocot, jinsi vile ambavyo wametupokea vizuri na kwa majadiliano ambayo tumekuwa na wao waliwahi kuja Nairobi na kuzungumza na sisi wakati ambapo waliona kwamba kuna mambo hawakuyaelewa na tukawapa hakikisho ya kwamba tutakuja huku tuongea na wao na hivi leo bila alivyoeleza waziri tumekuwa na mazungumzo na wao madhumuni makubwa ikiwa ni kuweka uh, wazi uh, yale ambayo yamekuwa yanafanyika kuhusu kampuni ambazo ziko katika uh, county hii ya Pokot wakitafuta madini